Dynamic range of a signal is basically the difference between the absolute quietest part of the signal and the absolute loudest part of the signal. And the best way I've found to sort of get people to relate to this is back in the day, old folks like us used to watch movies on television, on broadcast, usually late at night, right? And we'd be watching the movie and everything's going along just fine. The dialogue's good. The sound effects are cool. And then we cut to the commercial break and it's like the old Memorex ad where you're just completely blown backwards in space, right? So the movie was mixed in a certain way to have a very broad dynamic range. So the dialogue is down here and the crickets are down there. But then when there's the gunshot or the lightning strike or the car blows up, that's right up at the top to grab your attention and become really significant. The commercial, on the other hand, took that dynamic range, squashed it as much as it possibly could, and moved it all the way to the top end.